My name is Brendan Woods, and I'm the public defender of Alameda County. I'm the first black chief public defender in the history of Alameda County, and currently, I'm the only black chief public defender in the entire state of California. My name is Erlon Woods, and I am a co-creator, co-producer, and co-host of the podcast Ear Hustle, which was created inside San Quentin State Prison. I was born and raised in South Central Los Angeles, and in 1997, I was arrested and subsequently sentenced to 31 years to life. In 2018, November, I was released and am now a full-time producer for Ear Hustle, and I work on stories about re-entering society from prison. My name is Anand Khan. I'm the executive director and the co-founder of Restore Justice. Restore Justice is a nonprofit organization I co-founded while I was incarcerated. Uh, at the age of 18, I was sentenced to 25 years to life until my organization worked on a law uh, called Senate Bill 1437 for the felony murder rule, if you've heard or not. Uh, and after 16 years of a life sentence, I was freed, and I've been out since January of last year. Uh, our organization also works on changing other laws and doing advocacy work around incarceration and systemic oppression. So today, I'm here to talk to you about voting. Many people who are in jail in California believe that they cannot vote. That is not the case. Many people who are in jail in California can actually vote. In California, if you're on felony probation, you can vote. If you're on post-release community supervision, you can vote. If you have a felony conviction on your record, you can vote. There are only a few reasons that might prevent you from voting. I'm gonna tell you what they are. First, in order to vote, you must be a citizen of the United States. And you must be at least 18 years old. You cannot vote if you're on parole, and you cannot vote if you're in prison, you've been sentenced to a prison and you wouldn't be transported, or you've been sentenced to prison and you're serving your time in local county jail. And finally, you can't vote if the court has deemed you to be mentally incompetent. And that's it. Otherwise, you can vote. So over the last three years, through our voice program, which stands for Voter Outreach Increases Community Empowerment, our office has registered over a thousand people in jail to vote. So if you want to vote, here's what you do. Contact Inmate Services. Ask for a voter registration form. When you get that form, complete it and mail it back to the Registrar of Voters Office for free. And when you do that, ask to have a vote by mail ballot sent to you directly in jail. Once you get that ballot, Fill it out, sign it, make sure to seal the envelope, and send it back as soon as you can. You don't have to vote for everything, just vote on those issues that are important to you. So right now, we're at a critical time in our nation's history. Your voice matters more now than it ever has before. You can vote for important issues like who's gonna be in the school board, Who's going to be in Congress? You can vote for who's going to be president. You can vote on issues that impact you, your family, and your community. So now's the time. Use your power. Use your voice and vote. I'm here today to tell you that if you can vote, please vote. Your vote matters because as formerly incarcerated people, our ideas matter and can have an impact. As a formerly incarcerated person on parole, I have not had the opportunity to vote because I don't have the right to vote. So as soon as I complete parole, I will register to vote and participate in the process. If you can vote right now, please exercise that right. So one thing I want to say, say to you all is about voting. Please exercise your right to vote. Voting is super important. A lot of people don't care about what we think and laws and policies are made in our society and affect us and our children. Um, and everyone votes on it except for us. So I wanna encourage you to vote. Your vote matters, your, your, what you have to say matters and how you want our society to function matters. So I wanna encourage you all to vote. I got the right to vote. So you better be sure that I'm gonna vote. Encourage you to do that. Take care and hope to see you on this side of the wall. Thank you.